Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Mohammed Yusuf. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa yesterday visited the majlises of Ahmed Mansour Al Ali, the advisor of media affairs to His Majesty the King Nabil Al Hamar and the Al Jalahma family. His Royal Highness exchanged Ramadan blessings with the host and guests of the majlises. His Royal Highness expressed pride in the success of various development projects across the kingdom for the benefit of Bahraini citizens, including the completion of the housing projects, the expansion of the road and infrastructure networks, the establishment and restoration of schools, centers, and hospitals, as well as the development of health services, the new airport terminal, among other projects and services. His Royal Highness noted that the wide-ranging development projects were completed in parallel with the Kingdom's ongoing implementation of its fiscal balance program, which aims to achieve a balance between government expenditures and revenues. His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of continuing to strengthen cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities to achieve the Kingdom's priorities, framework, and contribute to the goals of comprehensive development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness noted the significance of Ramadan majlises in strengthening cultural bonds and renewing citizens' national responsibility towards the Kingdom's community and development. His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of implementing the programs and initiatives within the government program, which aims to further the Kingdom's ongoing development, which reflects the joint aspirations of the executive and legislative authorities. His Royal Highness also stressed the vital role of national responsibility in ensuring the Kingdom's comprehensive development goals are delivered for the benefit of current and future generations of Bahraini citizens. His Royal Highness reiterated Bahrain's ongoing commitment to urban planning and development, adding that the Kingdom's strategic projects have included initiatives and plans such as afforestation plans and increasing green spaces, which are aimed at reducing emissions to tackle climate change. For their part, the Majlis hosts and guests expressed their gratitude to His Royal Highness for his visit and engagement with Bahrainis and their Ramadan Majlises across the Kingdom. The hosts and guests commended Bahrain's ongoing progress and prosperity under the leadership of his Majesty the King. His Royal Highness was accompanied by the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Educational Charitable Trust, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and several senior officials.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Dhabiya Palace. The cabinet highlighted the importance of discussions held between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the King of Jordan, His Majesty King Abdullah II bin Al Hussein, in which both leaders emphasized their kingdom's commitment to supporting the foundations of security and stability that promote regional development, peace, and prosperity. The cabinet then extended its congratulations to His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan for his appointment as the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi. The cabinet also congratulated the newly appointed Deputy Prime Minister of the UAE and Minister of the Presidential Court, His Highness Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed Al Nahyan, as the Vice President of the UAE, alongside the Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, as well as on the appointment of His Highness Sheikh Hazza bin Zayed Al Nahyan and His Highness Sheikh Tahnoun bin Zayed Al Nahyan as Deputy Rulers of Abu Dhabi. The cabinet wished the UAE further progress and prosperity following the appointments. In light of the International Day of Conscience, the cabinet emphasized Bahrain's commitment to consolidating peace and compassion across the world. The International Day of Conscience is held annually on April 5th and was adopted by the UN in response to the initiative of the late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. On World Health Day, the cabinet commended the kingdom's health professionals for providing quality health care services to Bahraini citizens, which are appreciated by all. The cabinet then discussed and approved the following memorandums. A memorandum submitted by the Government Executive Committee regarding the launch of the Golden License for Strategic Projects. This memorandum aims to provide incentives and streamline services to foreign and local businesses with large-scale investment projects that create more than 500 jobs that will benefit Bahraini citizens or those with an investment value exceeding $50 million. A memorandum submitted by the Government Executive Committee on the Government Priority Framework 4.0. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding five MOUs between the University of Bahrain and regional and international organizations for academic and educational collaboration. A memorandum submitted by the Minister of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture regarding the acquisition of real estate for public use to provide spaces for urban development. A memorandum submitted by the Minister of Cabinet Affairs and President of the Board of Directors of the Education and Training Quality Authority regarding the general framework for reviewing the performance of higher education institutions. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the government's response to four proposals submitted by the Council of Representatives. The Cabinet then reviewed a memorandum submitted by the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowment regarding the statistics that re report on the Ministry's operations across various fields of specializations in 2022. The Cabinet then took note of the ministerial report submitted by the Minister of Foreign Affairs regarding the outcomes of the foreign participation of ministers and the visits of foreign delegations to Bahrain. The cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities is witnessing advanced stages of partnership that have made Bahrain the center of international praise and a pioneering model. More on this report. In order to achieve the goals of the comprehensive development process, under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the executive and legislative authorities are working hand in hand to build bridges of communication and build on the levels achieved that serve the national course of action. Strengthening the work between the authorities is the building block on which the pillars of development are based, represented in supporting national initiatives that are in line with the interest of achieving growth and prosperity for the kingdom through communication with all official and civil institutions and with the various components of Bahraini society. The national gains and a comprehensive development renaissance are the fruits of all achievements thanks to the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, who in turn always calls on the executive authority to provide all aspects of support to its legislative counterpart in order to work on developing all development fields and opening broader horizons in various sectors. 
What was agreed upon in the government program reflects the belief of the two authorities in the importance of partnership that works to consolidate the solid foundations of the state of institutions and the law aimed at achieving the aspirations of citizens and guaranteeing the interests of the nation in all fields. Bahrain's success in overcoming many challenges and reaching advanced levels in the fiscal balance program and the economic recovery plan proves once again that the joint work between the two authorities has made the Kingdom of Bahrain the center of international praise at all levels. The Minister of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture, Wa'al Mbarak, received the resident representative of the United Nations Development Program in Bahrain, Firas Gharaiba. The meeting discussed cooperation in areas of common interest and the visit of UN experts delegation from World Food Program and the UN Agriculture and Food Organization to learn about the Kingdom's plans in the afforestation sector. Al Mbarak praised the efforts made by the UNDP and its keenness to support Bahrain's goals in the sustainable and comprehensive development. He briefed the Ministry's plans and projects in sustainable development and discussed the role of cooperation with the UNDP. The plans were agreed by UNDP to enhance cooperation in integrated waste management and the program's participation in the Smart Cities Conference organized by the Ministry next May. The UNDP representative praised Bahrain's pioneering steps in sustainable urban development and stressed the program's keenness to continue cooperation with the Ministry in various programs to achieve sustainable development goals, combat climate change and preserve the environment. The Minister of Information, Dr. Ramzan Naimi, visited a number of radio and TV studios in the Heritage Village, where he met the producers of a number of programs that are broadcast on Bahrain radio and television during the holy month of Ramadan. The Minister hailed the Ramadan program package and its diversity, which reflects the authentic Bahraini character and the spiritual atmosphere that is specific to this holy month and sheds light on the diversity and solidarity that characterizes Bahraini society. He was briefed on the work mechanisms, equipment, and various capabilities of the radio and television studios, praising the efficiency of the staff and handling various modern technologies. Dr. Naimi expressed thanks and appreciation for the efforts of the national cadres and all employees in the Bahrain radio and television studios and congratulated those in charge of implementing the Ramadan package for the success and public interaction it achieved. He also praised the distinguished level of the media content of radio and television programs inspired by the Bahraini culture, national identity and heritage. He affirmed the ministry's keenness on the Bahraini society's participation in various national and religious events. The Mongolian president received Ambassador Mohammed Ghassan Sheikho where he presented him with a copy of his credentials as Ambassador Designate Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary of Bahrain to Mongolia, residing in Beijing. The ambassador conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King to the President and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, while wishing his country and its people further development, progress and prosperity. He stressed the Kingdom's keenness to develop bilateral relations. The Mongolian President expressed his highest regards and best wishes to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness, and wished the ambassador further success in his duties.